Lemur is a framework for applying large language models to spoken data. It can create summaries in the style of your own choosing, answer questions, create a list of action items, or do any other task that you explain it to do. And the best of all is, Lemur can do all of these things by taking multiple files into consideration. And it is flexible as much as it is powerful. Let's take a look at the parameters that you can pass to each of these endpoints. For each of these tasks, you need to provide a transcription ID or IDs from Assembly AI to Lemur. When using the Python SDK, this is done automatically, so you do not have to specifically pass the transcription IDs. We will see this in more detail in the coming videos. Each endpoint comes with the option to either use the default model or the basic model. The implicit setting is the default model when no other option is passed on. Lemur default is a standard model to use. It is capable of handling any task as well or better than the Lemur basic model. Default is capable of more nuanced and complex questions where basic would provide poor results. The drawback of this expanded functionality and quality is execution speed and cost. Default model is up to 20% slower than basic and has an increased cost. Lemur Basic, on the other hand, is a simplified model optimized for speed and cost, allowing you to complete simple requests quickly and cheaply. Max output size lets you determine the size of the result that is returned from Lemur. The maximum that is allowed is 4,000 tokens and the default is 2,000 tokens. For each endpoint, there is a specific type of query that you need to pass. For the custom summary endpoint, you need to tell the model what kind of summary you are looking for in any way you want. For the question and answer endpoint, you can pass it one or more questions. And for the custom task endpoint, you can pass it a prompt that includes the instructions and any other information about the task that you wanted to achieve. These parameters are required for the endpoints. We will take a closer look at how to define these parameters in the detailed review videos that are coming up next. For the action item endpoint, this parameter doesn't exist because the main goal of this endpoint is to create a list of tasks based on the audio, so it doesn't need extra instruction. When defining a task that you want Lemur to achieve, you can provide additional information to Lemur about the audio data that is being passed to it. You can achieve this using the context parameter. This is available for all the endpoints except for the custom task endpoint, since all the instructions and the context can be passed to the custom endpoint through the prompt parameter. Now let's take a closer look at how to define all of these parameters per endpoint and how to run an audio file through Lemur.